Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about the Tracer slash Chrono unit from T238. Um, they've given me a lot of Tracer units in the past, like they are for example giving me a Tracer unit, the Gryphon, they have given me um, the RBG one, um, and I've been very happy with all of these Tracers actually. They've been very good and I've been using them a lot, um, I've also given some way to the community and everyone seems to have the same consensus they work pretty well the battery lasts very long and it's pretty efficient so today we're going to be talking about the new one this is a very special one and i was actually kind of um, i wasn't sure if i wanted to do this review or not because it's very it's a very different style of tracer unit slash chronograph and i'm not sure i like to say they come with film like this I took it off, that one is for the community I'm gonna give away at some point. This is what we get in the box, we get the manual. Um, I would say for most people you should probably read the manual first, what you should do, the instructions, how to power it, how to use it, how all the settings settings works. But obviously, I don't use that. Then you have this, well, if you like it, you like it, so I might put it on a bunch of stuff, I don't know. Then you get some tools and screws, Yeah, the, the screws in this I'm pretty sure it's to tighten it. This is a carbon. Uh, I'm not sure if it's genuine carbon fiber or not. It was good, but uh, it looks like carbon at least. It's very heavy. Let's see what else do we get in the box. Then we get these two in the box. Um, this is to put on the gun so you can tighten it around different things. You get a tiny power line. Um, the way you power it is there's like a small thing here for type C. Pull it out. And then you use this obviously you connect it with whatever power brick. This, oh, this is stuck a lot. That's pretty good. So it's not just going to fall out. There's lights on the front, I assume the lights is for when you're shooting so it shows real muscle flash or it, it, it uh, pretends like it's muscle flash. So if you have a gas gun, or anything, maybe HP also a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna look at how this tracer works. Um, let's try to set it up. It's a nice loading screen. That's actually kind of, let me see, do you, how do you turn it off? Let's see here, power off. Oh, that's it. You know, that's a pretty smooth screen, I'm not gonna lie. So let's see here, okay, what is this? I haven't used this yet, so I'm gonna go through with you. Record, I think that's the Tracer stuff. Okay, let's see, Chrono, on, Tracer, RGB, let's see the options. Uh, red, yellow, green, uh, CN, that's a uh, purple, blue, pink, white, rainbow. Did somebody say rainbow? Yep, yeah, okay. Let's see here, DIA. Diameter of the BB, uh, weight of the BB, DISP, display out to off. That's pretty smart. So the display will turn off by itself. That's good. Let's see power, 20 minutes. If it's not in use for 20 minutes, I guess it's going to turn off. Unit, let's see here. Meters per second, FPS, MPS. Okay, let's do it like this. Okay, let's see, you actually have a lot of options, I like this. This is actually kind of good. Let's see. Oh, okay, okay. 70, that's probably not it. This was zero. Let's see, when we're going to be using this, we're going to be using 32s. I just, I just need to see how this looks. Oh, this is really smooth. This screen is actually very smooth, I like it. This is a smooth screen. Okay. Well, let's see. This, this, I guess this way it's going to be showing how it's going to look. When you use it. Okay, I'm gonna be using 30s. I see it's 30s I have. Let's put on the weight here. 30. I'm gonna be using Nimrod BBs. Uh, it's the trace ones. Let's see here. Does it do anything yet? Okay. Well, it's all it's active. So to get the tracer to fit, there's one of these pieces you get with the with the tracer itself. This fits a normal trading like every single airsoft gun has. Or if it doesn't have it, you can obviously buy an adapter. This is supposed to be inside the tracer. Like, how does it work? Well, you put this inside the tracer. Then you have two screws you're going to tighten with. You can see here in the bottom. This is where you're tightening the screws. This is the little kit you get with the tracer. This has two screws and this to tighten it. Now when I think about it, I think I'm going to put this on the gun first, the tracer over, so I can tighten it on top, so I can completely align it perfectly. As you can 
can see it's very much looking like a rainbow. Let's try to get a better angle. Also, this is a very good place to see how it reads the jewels. It's actually extremely accurate. It's very good at cloning. It has all the BBs. Let's see. Can you scroll? You can scroll all the... It's actually super cool. This is very cool. It just has all the shots. The screen is fluent. Like everything just seems... This actually just seems nice. Like an overall really nice package. I turned off all the lights completely. I thought you guys should see how it shoots then. Holy, that's, that's so bright. What the heck? Like, look at this. That's so bright. It's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. I love it. <laughs> Good job. So pros and cons for this tracer. I think the design is very unique. It's not necessarily something I like. It's very big. It's very fancy. It does a lot of things. Does it do things good? Well, the chrono readings are very good, like it's very accurate, like it's actually super super accurate. You have a very nice menu to just go through all of it, like you can literally go through all of this and you can see it perfectly. It has a menu that's very fluent, it's it's showing a score here, I don't know what it means, the meters per second, the RPS, how fast it shoots, it's showing 0 0.95 joules. It just have a lot of really cool things, it's very 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 bright. Um, that's obviously a super important thing. Like, if it's not bright, why would we even want it? Build quality feels good. Cons with this can be that it's a very heavy design, it's very big, and maybe most people don't want something as big as this. A con could also be that this screen could get shot out at a freak accident. I know it's gonna be aiming like this, and nobody's gonna be shooting from the top, but maybe a freak accident, something could happen, but I howl it it. Maybe the lights in the front could be good shot out, but I mean that can happen to every single tracer. So that's not something specific, I guess, to just this one. It charges really fast and it's very smart. The way it charges when you turn it on, it has a red light on the inside. When it's uh, done charging, the red light is just it just stops. So it's very easy to see when this is full power. Pros! This has an absolutely amazing screen. I love it. It's really fast. It's really good. Um, it turns on. Super easy, boom, very fluid screen, good chronograph, it has a ton of options for um, for the RGB, like you can, you can literally do rainbow, dynamic, red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, pink, white and off. Pro to this can also be, this is $100, currently it's like around $100 on the website, um, $100 for a tracer, for a chronograph. Um, that's actually a very competitive price. And as you can see with all the other tracers on the website, they always have pretty competitive prices and not just with the tracers, um, they have a lot of other products too that's very fairly priced. Do I recommend this? If you want a chrono and a tracer and you like carbon fiber, I don't see why not. It's super good build quality. It's very, very, very bright. It gets all the readings. You get a lot of information. There's literally no sittings you're missing, so I love it. Well, T238, thank you for sending this tracer. As always, very nice tracers. I like it. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and um, see you next time. Peace. That's so bright. It's crazy.